During the first phase of version 1.6, okay. the character Ron Ron Mason on the first half. Neat. Along with the, can obtain the, the new Forza character. I, again, I forgot Ron the name. May Sorry. And Blade, respectively. Not to mention the four star character. Oh my god, Blade as well? Oh god, please no. Please do not tell me Kafka's in the second half. Please no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. No! I wondered when that lady might be making a return. The thing that I'm really looking forward to version 1.6 special program is basically the character banner where there have been rumors that Kafka might be getting a rerun in version 1.6. If Kafka is getting a rerun banner then I'm really sorry Run Me, I'm gonna have to skip you. And another thing that I might be I might be looking forward to is I'm not sure whether um, version 1.6 Special program will drop a very slight teaser on Tanner Corny at the end of this um, special program or not. Only time will tell. Yeah. There is. Three genius society members at the same time? Ooh, I knew this interview was a bad idea. Mr. Screwlem. Member 76, sophisticated mechanical aristocrat and renowned leader. Not to mention, the savior of inorganic life throughout the universe. He's as sharp as they come. He recognized my brilliance in an instant. Now if I can just get him to recommend me. And his astonishing wisdom in the field of broadcasting has been duly recognized by Noose themself. Ergo, the Genius Society hereby confers upon Mr. Albert the title of Member 85. Member 81, Ron May. Oh. Oh, she seemed like a kind and elegant person in the simulated universe. And a she's sexy though, as but F. What if I ask a bad question? <laughs> <laughs> Since when does Albert ask bad questions? <laughs> This little bird has an active imagination. Ugh. Quit daydreaming! <laughs> the program is about to start! What are you waiting for? A trailer or something? Alright, let's react to the trailer I for version 1.6. Poka Kakamon had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh! Look who's here. Buzz. Wow, so many cute little pets. Okay, so it's safe to assume that 1.6 takes place in the um, Hotel Space Station. There's oh. much you don't know about the space station. Woo. Oh my it's gosh, she's so sexy. Until you the oh my goodness gracious, she's so sexy here. Yeah. Oh my not, gosh. You'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. And as a matter of fact, like, does she keep a lot of pets? Just like a genius pets? move. And how will you counter it? What the hell? You look troubled. A portrait okay. of an internal turmoil. What's the in Marinas? Do try you. to think for yourself. The gods of the starry skies have abandoned the world. Only the wounded Whoa, savior what can save the world in the firelight of destruction. What the hell? No matter the distance, annihilation will find you. Buddy, huh, what audience dice? have you done to Asta? How ostentatious. Woo! That wallpaper though. Oh my goodness gracious, Ron May is sexy AF. Holy moly. Hold on, give me a sec. Uh... Okay. Oh my goodness.
bonus. <laughs> you want me, sexy F? I want her. I want her even more now. But, but if Kafka gets a, if Kafka gets a rerun banner, I am doomed. I am absolutely doomed. And as a matter of fact, right, I don't, I don't have that many characters. To top it off, right, I failed to pull um, Topaz in the uh, when she was available in I believe it was 1.4. And whether or not your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And if you didn't know already, I'm Albert, your favorite feather announcer. Welcome to the version 1.6. Crown of the Mundane and Divine Special Program. On today's program, we're bringing together three intellectual heavyweights from none other than the Genius Society. Oh, why don't you introduce yourself? The three members of the Society. Okay. Here to kick us off? Yeah, whatever. Heard of here. Heard <clears throat> Well, that was. Yeah. Remember? Brief and short. Enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking, <clears throat> and uh, let's not forget the new face on the block, Madam Ron May. Hello, dear viewers. I'm Ron May. I suppose that makes it my turn. Greetings, viewers. I am Screwlem. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is all ours. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> now they now Honka is definitely time. taking a different approach <laughs> where uh, uh, a different approach than where potential. instead of um, <laughs> the voice actors acting as themselves, they're Space acting as visits. the Lucky for you, in characters instead. Just like oh, how the Japanese version of the in your special program was a way of maximizing the utility of our itinerary. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyhow, oh my dear lord, I, 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 I don't think I cannot stop the story looking at Ronnie and Ronnie and Ronnie. She's sexy Intelligence AF. available for release in the case of the following. Madam Ron May has commandeered one of the space station zones for biological science experiments. <laughs> I like to avoid attracting too much attention with my experiments. And the station had a sealed off area available. Herta was kind enough to lend it to me. Big enough to spread across three levels. This area is a brand new domain waiting for us in version 1.6. Welcome to Herta Space Station Seclusion Zone. Due to the secrecy oh, surrounding the zone, Herta Space Station? there's currently okay. not a soul to be found across the whole domain. Rebuttal. Your assertion excludes the existence of inorganic life operating in the area. <laughs> Naturally, as I was saying, the story is set to unfold in this new domain. Wait, so you still need the seclusion zone, Ron May? I do. My research has encountered a few anomalies. I was hoping the Trailblazer could do me a small favor. Uh, favor? So, uh, okay, yeah. so new train base continuous sure station takes place the at the uh, uh, Herta Space Station. This is a golden age for biological science. No problem too big or too small, right? And version 1.6 is brand new trail base continuance. Crown of the mundane oh my and the Trailblazers will May encounter Madame Ron May for the first Whoever time. Whoever designed Ron May need needs to raise. With her to solve the headaches Whoever of Herta Space Station. Whoever designed Ron May definitely needs to raise. For example. Like, Oh my goodness, One such headache is I the result of the it. little life forms that Ron May has been cultivating. I'm afraid that's the nature of biological science. Surprises and accidents in equal measure. Not to mention, the space station is hiding more secrets than you might have thought. Various crises bubbling to the surface, heard his puppet falling prey to an ambush, and a new provocation that the geniuses must face up to. Nothing a small favor can't fix, right? We got the three geniuses here. What could go wrong? In Mr. Albert's previous broadcasts, the adoption of a light-hearted tone usually indicates the presence of a formidable challenge. <laughs> My beak is sealed. This is a top-secret experiment. But trust me, 
when I say that the adventure ahead is a journey into both the power and wonder of biological science. And what better way to prepare our trailblazers than by introducing the one and only Madam Ron May? Alright. Game day time. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Woo! Okay, she's using a traditional guitar. Oh my god, her legs! Her legs! Buddy! Do you really have to focus on her legs? Buddy! <laughs> Madam Ron May Woo! is an ice type character following the path oh, of Harmony she's ice. and member 81 of the Genius Society. From the very beginning, her research has focused on biological science. Japanese boy is right. by Onishi Biological Sawi. science is a boundless um, field. I rarely have time for leisure. And despite being one of the founders of the simulated oh universe, God. I seldom step up to the plate. Madam Ron May, I was curious. Is there a Any human that has thick fetish are gonna have Ronnie? a hard time being resisting Ron May without shadow of a doubt. Flat hierarchical structure. <laughs> My name is simply the combination of their surnames. Fascinating! What a spellbinding tradition. I believe you may be laying it on a little thick. Mr. Albert, are you hoping for something in return? Uh, who wouldn't hope for a blessing from Madame Ron May? <laughs> Trailblazers agree with me. Then let me remind you that a genius's blessing isn't always a result of generosity or kindness. M meaning? Aren't you supposed to be intelligent? You tell me. Many individuals have a hidden side. Ergo, Trailblazer's encounter with Ron May may hold surprises. But okay. that's spoiler at 12 o'clock! I think it's time we took a look at what this elegant scholar can do on the battlefield, don't you? My basic yes, attack, please. Threading Fragrance, deals ice damage to a single target. While my skill, String Sing Slow Swirls, can increase the weakness break efficiency of all allies. Okay. There's also my ultimate. Petals to stream. Repose and dream. Oh my god. Which creates a field. Only the most beautiful field I've ever seen. In other words, um, <laughs> art, she Within activates field, a domain expansion of some kind? All type resistance penetration increase. And when breaking an enemy's weakness, they afflict them with a mark. This mark is triggered on the enemy's next action, prolonging their weakness break state. Delaying their action and inflicting them with additional ice damage. Ah. You have a knack for exploiting oh my God. enemy's weakness. Horribus, please, for the love of mankind, stop and focusing on her, her on her lies legs. So please. Which allows the team to automatically trigger please. an equivalent to her skill stop. at the start of the next battle. In the simulated universe, when Ron May possesses Silk and Serenade, and when an ally attacks a simulated universe enemy, the battle is entered as if the enemy's weakness was attacked. The attack ignores weakness types and can deplete the toughness of all enemies. Breaking okay. a weakness can trigger the weakness break effect that corresponds to the attacker's own type. Not only that, in the simulated universe, for every blessing possessed, the toughness reducing damage of the current attack is increased and extra additional ice damage is dealt. Wow. Wow, very good. Does that Sounds mean she like can combo well with Jing Liu? After Trailblazers get to know Ron May, another scholar with connections to the Gene Society will be appearing in this Trailblaze Continuous. Oh, I assume you're referring to the gentleman with the alabaster head? Classic yes. Mr. Strollum. <laughs> Able to see the gentleman behind the mask. <laughs> gentleman, my foot! <laughs> Herta, Yo. you're being a little harsh. Sounds like you two are well acquainted. <laughs> Without further ado, allow me to introduce him. All right. I'm pretty sure the ladies are looking forward to him and... You know, Apple just fell onto his head. And in terms of character design, right, he's giving me off that the the Greek mythology vibe. Ratio, or Doctor Ratio, as he's known. Oh, he's, he's he follows the path of the hunt. Following the okay. path of the hunt, 
He belongs to a different news worshipping organization, the Intelligentsia Guild. Which is why I can't stand the sight of him. The Genius Society consists of vanguards from various fields who act in isolation. Okay. In contrast, the Intelligentsia Guild advocates for the dissemination of knowledge, allowing for a broad church of followers of Noose who work towards furthering this end. Question. Does the current universe derive greater benefit from the unparalleled talents of the Genius Society or the mutual learnings of the Intelligentsia Guild? You sure you want to go there? <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> Is that why Dr. Ratio joined the Intelligentsia Guild? A devotion to science? A desire to share scientific knowledge? Exactly! Dr. Ratio presides over a total of 52 academic programs. Huh. And yells at people until they burst into tears. Mm, strict teachers make for good students. And any student who makes it to the end of a program will be an expert scholar in their respective field. And an emotional wreck. <laughs> Ignorance is an ailment. The expungement of which only our Dr. Ratio can achieve and which entails necessary hardship. By which you mean the destruction of any and all self-esteem. <laughs> His creations have helped many worlds look beyond their borders. Okay, Zimi or Herta and Albert are arguing each other or some kind. I feel like we might accidentally be discussing... Perhaps I should intervene. Dr. Ratio's desire to cure ignorance with truth is well known. It's time for us to assess his prowess on the battlefield. During okay. his basic attack, mind is might, Dr. Ratio brandishes his codex, dealing imaginary damage to a single target. Oh. Question, why does he carry a codex with him? Well, intellectuals enjoy persuading others with quotes. I think Dr. Ratio takes that to mean hitting people with them directly. Dr. Ratio's skill, intellectual midwifery, deals imaginary damage to a single target. Yeah, While single target. Talent, Kokito Ergo Sum may trigger him to launch a follow-up attack after using his skill. As a rigorous academic researcher, Dr. Ratio pays close attention to his enemy's debuffs during battle. The more debuffs the enemy has, the higher the chance of him launching a follow-up attack. And let's not forget his ultimate, three-step paradox. The good doctor summons a leaning tower and through a series of precise calculations and measurements, plus a trajectory of maximum pain. The target enemy suffers imaginary damage and is afflicted with wise man's folly. When a target with wise man's folly is attacked by an ally of Dr. Ratio, he launches his talent's follow-up attack against the target. And when using his technique, Mold of Idolatry, Dr. Ratio creates a dimension and taunts nearby enemies. When attacking an okay. enemy within the dimension to enter well, that's battle, neat. there's a chance of reducing the target's speed. It would appear those well, five that's statues neat. are made in his Unfortunately, own Unfortunately, right. Ergo, Considering the fact that Dr. he follows Ratio the path of the Han, he's basically a single target um, to put it mildly. character. <laughs> a single target attacker, to be precise. Will finally be running into an old friend. The and two siblings, nah, he's just not my cup of tea. Yet bound to her all the same. It's Hanya's elder I'm pretty sister, sure, I'm pretty sure the ladies are going to go gaga over him. Oh right, I forgot. I have a feeling that she'll be available in the second half of the banner, man. Whoa. She looks like an, an attacker. She either follows a path of destruction or the path of evolution. He is a quantum type yeah, character following destruction. the path of destruction, whose original body was replaced long ago with a permanent puppet system. Jenny? The system on was second. constructed for Shui Yi on behalf of the Ten Lords Commission. Isn't it um, the, the English that uh, voice actress for Yoimiya? She would be rewarded me, right, with a half day's wake Because I'm pretty sure I'm hmm. very... A reasonable arrangement. I'm pretty sure that's that's literally uh, <laughs> doing me us, uh, like your sister, Hanya, English voice actress. Shui Yi is a formidable presence on the battlefield. Shui Yi's basic attack, Mara Sunder All, can deal quantum damage to a target enemy. Her skill, Iniquity Obliteration, can deal quantum damage to a single target and adjacent enemies. Ah, uh, this Ten is what commission. Shui Yi's just what I want to out of the ordinary. When Shui Yi and an ally deal damage to an enemy's toughness, stacks of karma are accumulated. Hmm. So she's good at trying criminals? 
<laughs> the best! When Karma stacks to the upper limit, Shui Yi immediately launches a follow-up attack on the target enemy, dealing quantum damage. Her okay. ultimate, Divine Castigation, can deal quantum damage to a single target and toughness depletion that ignores weakness types. The more oh. toughness depleted, the greater the damage. Breaking weaknesses irrespective of type. <laughs> These Sienjo natives Neat. are cold-blooded. When Shui I definitely want her technique, summary execution. But I'll be there if she's in the second half. Battle, she deals quantum damage to all enemies. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. <laughs> it's time. The moment of we truth. We talked about version 1.6's banners. During the first phase of version 1.6, okay. in the character run me on, on the first half. Neat. Along with the the, can obtain the, the new force character. I, again, I forgot the name. Sorry. And Blade, respectively. Not to mention the four star character. Oh my god, Blade as well? 1.6's first phase. Oh god, please, no. Please do not tell me Kafka's in the second half. During the second phase of version 1.6 in the character event warps, Pantoray. Please, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Limited five star characters. Don't you dare do it. And Kafka, respectively. I wondered when that lady might be making a return. I'd be glad to see the back of her. Then let's not forget Lyco. At 1.6's first phase Lyco in event warp, the drop rate of the five star Lyco in the past self of the mirror would be boosted. And in the bicone reminiscence Lyco in event warp, the drop rate of the five star Lyco, the unreachable side, will also be boosted. Version 1.6's second phase will also see the five star Lyco, the baptism of pure Entering the light Why event Why would you do this? Bathing relaxes both the body and the mind. It is of great benefit to our consideration of both the universe and philosophy. Why would you do this? Why am I stuck? And Damn it. finally, in the aforementioned bygone reminiscence oh, like on a bedroom, I mean, oh the drop rate of the five-star light cone, patience is all you need, will also Why? be functional. Oh, light oh cones, gosh. it's been a pleasure. Run me I on the first time. I think it's time for some mental recuperation. And the, run me and the, the new four-star character on the first half, and then Kafka on the second half. Oh my gosh, this I... So, and the leaks were true. The leaks were true. Oh my gosh. Why, why would you do this? So you must, you're literally gonna make them have to be players, including myself, Brick. Oh, god damn it. Oh, gosh. This is a dilemma. I'm in a dilemma. I'm in a dilemma right now man what the hell i i might consider done being free to be f to be as of this moment oh my gosh run me and i think it was shui right the the new four star quantum character and then kafka on the second half god welcome damn back trailblazers now that we've introduced oh our new gosh. characters, it's time to delve deeper into version 1.6. First up, something that's about to make a big splash on the space station. Let me guess, new boss? Oh dear, I do not like this. As if the swarm disaster is already bad enough. Now we're getting a new boss or some kind. I can see how that would make a big splash. Do I recall someone mentioning accidents on the space station? In the process of clone cultivation, Madame Ron May did encounter a certain anomaly. Mm -hmm. An anomaly in the form of a Swarm King prototype and fierce Swarm Disaster entity, oh, yeah. Star Crusher, Swarm King Scaracabaz. Thanks to an incident during the experiment, this borehole planet's old crater came into being, and it looks like a lively one. There's that light-hearted tone again. Ergo, we're screwed. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I kick your butt. <laughs> okay. Don't panic. Madame Ron May has shared with us one of her research papers. <clears throat> 
Star Crusher Swarm King Scarakabaz. Analysis of asexual propagation performance induced by specific gene sequences. <laughs> Let's start with the abstract and keywords, shall we? <laughs> oh, the fin of you. To the point. <laughs> Leave it to me. This is the fin of you. Star Crusher Swarm King Scarakabaz possesses immense propagative capabilities. Because when in its multiply state, this the boss is a two-faced um, boss for the rest of Wait, every attack? So the swarm just keeps multiplying the more we fight it? As somebody's getting fired. However, this multiply state is also when the Swarm King is most vulnerable. Breaking its weakness at this moment can cause it to explode. That's right! As highlighted okay. in the paper's conclusion, maintain your focus on the Swarm King's toughness. Time the weakness break just right, and Star Crusher Swarm King Scarab Let me see how we can be defeated. Its weakness is um, physical, the ice, and imaginary. Mission, Echo of War, Borehole Planet's old crater. Yeah, it's a, a new fate. boss, and it's, the weakness is um, physical, ice, and imaginary. Evils of the Borehole Planet disaster. Are all biological entities in this location characterized by aggression? Affirmation, it is reasonable to conduct such experiments within a sealed off area. Fair not! There are some sweet and lovable characters too! In a bid to boost the space station's research developments, Trailblazers have been assigned an important mission. Nurture and care for the newly arrived little life forms. <laughs> I'm counting on you, friends. There won't be any accidents or anomalies this time. Right? <laughs> Probably not. Look how adorable these little guys are. In the Critter Pick scavenging event, Trailblazers can choose their nurturing goals according to the nurturing manual. They can learn cultivation specifics and successfully raise a variety of delightful little creatures. Seeing these little critters explore and frolic through the cabin is enough to put a smile on the face of every Trailblazer. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. It results in gratifying emotional and physical responses. So cute. I wish I could pet them. A profoundly ingenious construct. Aside from the normal varieties, the cultivation process might even result in mutations and special breeds. Okay. And just between us, during the event, Trailblazers have the chance to transform into and experience what it's like to be peppy. Hmm. Ah. Interesting. Interesting Maybe indeed. I should add a transformation feature to the simulated universe. Speaking of the simulated universe, see limited universe gold and gears. Oh my gosh! With significant new features. Version 1.6 will add another fresh update to the simulated universe with brand new DLC, gold and gears. It seems the swarm Your universe is not good enough. They decided to add in more. <laughs> In simulated universe, and as a matter of fact, I didn't even hear the, the, the swarm universe and yet. Frozen oh my space time gracious. just before the demise of number 27. The Emperor swarm universe Rubert. was tough. Emperor Rubert then was again, a computer um, that became self-aware. I didn't really have fear and his oh, gaze, becoming the 27th member of the open. genius society. I hope sure he can get the job done. Emperor, and Once I get the widely known machine empire oh, crisis, gosh. the first emperor's war. The war serves as an excellent historical source for eonic research. This latest update yep. adds the path of erudition and daringly experiments with separating dice from paths. Wait. The dice come with six slots the for a quick and various was dice not available effects. in the Swarm By collecting Trailblaze secrets, you can unlock even more dice face effects. As Trailblazers delve deeper into the challenges, they can acquire more powerful dice faces and unlock new ways to play. I hope they don't get rid of these swap swarm, out the faces on their dice, the swarm combining effects from uh, multiple paths to create a presidented, because I'm still not done with that. For I'm, example, I have not cleared that when using yet. Kafka, even if the initial path selected is the Dihility, you can create diverse effects by strategically combining different dice faces. You could assemble a die that allows you to leap over tiles, or one that yields higher rewards in battles, or one that incorporates both effects. Clear golden right. gears and voila! Neural impulse is all yours. Use it to unlock different talents and increase your combat gains. In okay. other words, it mirrors the ability tree found in the simulated universe. Yep. Get ready for a thrilling addition to version 1.6 of the simulated universe, the Intracognition System. 
When moving across the simulated Asian universe system. board, self-consciousness changes may be triggered, leading to diverse story paths. Trailblazers can compile all the storylines through continuous gameplay, ultimately unlocking the enigmatic secrets of Okay, the that's Eon. a lot of stuff. Count your blessings! A new simulated universe to explore. Trailblazers, I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Now that we've covered the major well updates in the simulated universe, it's time to talk about a special invite. In version 1.6, well, Trailblazers will receive an invitation from the Department of Ecology universe. to participate in a special test. The Department of Ecology? <laughs> What's the mission this time? This test involves battling illusionary enemies that are conjured through scent triggers. What? Each distinct scent plugin yields different test outcomes. Trailblazers will start with a basic test. And subsequently, unlock uh, despair mode. Despair what? Mode? I hear trailblazers are seasoned trash can explorers. I'm sure their noses can handle it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't be so sure. The difficulty right. curve isn't for the faint of heart. Which is why we'd like to remind all trailblazers that the illusions created by these scents differ from regular enemies. Make sure you're well prepared before engaging in battle. Example. Deploy distinct I definitely need new characters without a shadow without the simulated trial to I definitely need new characters bonuses in battle That's right Immerse yourself in your favorite scent say see the world Again stop showing me like run me legs for friends. heaven's sake What's this a garlic flavored abundant ebon deer <laughs> That sounds delicious I snap out of it Need I remind uh... everyone the scent may be tempting but it's crucial to exercise self control Version 1.6 will also see the return the usual. of the planar fisher and the, usual. Of the strange events. During these events, successfully challenging the simulated universe and cavern of corrosion will yield double rewards for a set number of times. As usual, relaxation and fun await. Mm, we ain't done with you yet. Your fiction, Remember Mr. Cien from the Cien Joe Lao Mr. Cien? He recently acquired a talking parrot called Yosa that can blur truth with falsehood. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? What? Slender! <laughs> As I was saying, Trailblazers can strike up a conversation with Mr. Cien and his talking parrot to experience the brand new permanent challenge mode, Pure Fiction! Uh, permanent challenge? You mean like the Forgotten Hall? Not exactly! In Pure Fiction, defeating an enemy will cause it to respawn immediately, and Trailblazers earn points every time they deal damage to or defeat an enemy. At the end okay. of each battle, the highest score achieved in that challenge will be recorded. Okay. Trailblazers need to defeat as many enemies as possible within a limited number of cycles to rack up a high score. Okay. Each phase of Pure Fiction comes with its own set of buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from, which allows for team composition experimentation to maximize points. Observation okay. indicates that high scores hinge on the right cure. Conclusion. Consider the nature of enemies and available buff effects when selecting your formation and battle strategy. Mmm, goodness, I right. better myself. A quick update, folks. In each phase of pure fiction, you can bag yourself a whopping 720 stellar jades. And guess what? So 120 stellar jades? will earn you the four star character lace nice 720 stellar jades <laughs> you heard it here first Neat. In so it's safe to assume that we what chaos is said to expand with stages 11 and 12. Securing oh they're expanding okay stages grants an extra 120 stellar jades combine that with the first instance nice and look at that a grand total of 720 stellar jades that's a lot, man. These two permanent challenge modes can also earn a new currency, which they can exchange for items like mm, self modeling resin and the newly added shop. Sounds neat, but are Trailblazers seriously expected to take on more permanent challenges each time there's a new version? That's going to eat into our simulated universe testing time, you know. <laughs> Hold your horses, Madam Herda. These two permanent game modes will be seeing changes of their own in the update schedule. From okay. version 1.6 onwards, Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos, and Pure Fiction will be updated in rotation. Every Memory of Chaos okay. update will be followed two weeks later by a Pure Fiction event. 
Subsequently, two weeks okay. after that, a new memory of chaos will start. In which case, each version contains three such updates, meaning that Trailblazers can obtain a maximum of 2,160 Stellar Jades across the Forgotten Hall and Pure Fiction events. In addition, okay. the availability of each phase of Memory of Chaos will be extended from two weeks to six weeks. This nice. means that when a new phase of Memory of Chaos starts, the previous phase will still be available. Nice. The same is also true of Pure Fiction. There go. Nice. Trailblazers will have more time to plan their character leveling and to experience challenge gameplay. <laughs> nice. Hey, you got it. And I almost forgot about another significant new feature in version 1.6. Get ready for the Forgotten Hall Auto Clear Function. Auto Clear After Function. The 1.6 update. Trailblazers can directly challenge the highest memory of chaos stage they previously cleared with three stars. Upon achieving a three star victory, they instantly receive all rewards from the preceding stages. Just heads okay. up that stage seven is currently the highest stage that Trailblazers can start their challenge. Okay. Whoa. In other words, as long as I've achieved a three star victory in stage seven and I attain the same victory in any given Forgotten Hall Memory of Chaos update, I can get my hands on rewards for the previous six stages? Precisely. Wow. Another Trailblazer time saver. Wow. Seem. That's not all. Why didn't Genshin have this? Further improve the user friendliness Why didn't the Genshin the have this? As Trailblazers progress through stages, which means we don't have to go through the nightmare of clearing the um, from the floor, stage um, floor one to floor seven Plus, all over again. As long as you clear all button. of them with Line three stars. Adjusted at the drop of a hat. Impressive. It oh my gosh, this, this is such is a, a good priority. This is, <laughs> this is so good. 1.6 will also ease the completion difficulty so of daily training, allowing trailblazers to claim rewards with less effort. Additionally, Honkai never cease to amaze me. Limited unlock feature for certain material stages. This might require further explanation. Simply put, even if trailblazers haven't explored the latest maps, they can still challenge certain material stages to gather leveling materials for their characters. Oh. And of course, where would and the usual be without the ever exciting and tech usual event? Participating in the event allows trailblazers to get their hands which on Genshin tenors. will never do in <laughs> every the single will be looking forward to this Only <laughs> Honkai Starion does it. Nah. <sighs> I saw it coming. Alrighty, <laughs> it's that time already, folks. A big shout out to all our Trailblazers for their incredible love and support. Honkai Star Rail recently garnered incredible awards and nominations. On behalf of the project team, I, Albert, would like to extend our gratitude. Pardon the interruption. Mm. You are now speaking with Veritas Ratio. Huh? It has come to my attention that your broadcast today touched on certain warp arrangements in connection with myself. If I may be so bold, the current arrangements are pitiful. Dr. Ratio! The dissemination and sharing of knowledge, as well as truth, okay. is imperative. I, in my esteemed capacity, demand that every trailblazer be given access to a proper education. When version 1.6's Pantaray event warp becomes available, okay. every trailblazer who has unlocked the mail feature shall receive, via mail, one limited five-star character doctor ratio. That is to say, me. Through sheer tyranny of will, I shall become ubiquitous. With this, I bid you farewell. And there we have it, folks. What? The esteemed Dr. Ratio. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I think we've covered all the content for version 1.6. Claim for free. Thank you once again to our three geniuses for their support. Uh, Are you serious? Don't go anywhere just yet now. Stay tuned for an IPM bonus program. Are you Here serious? Sunday. Hmm. I thought it was Friday today. Question. Does the IPC What not the hell rest did I just see? What? 
That's two full days of simulated universe testing. Trailblazers, you know what to You do. can claim Dr. Ratio for free? I'm talking about our next special guest. Hold on. I need to process that. Whoa. It's not even a year. And they're already giving out a free five star character. What the shit? Genshin, on the other hand, three years and still no free five star character yet. Honkai Star Rail, you win. You absolutely win. I am. Mind blown right now. I am literally mind blown right now. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Family's Charmony Festival Conference. I'm your host, Albert. This once in an hour. Oh, now I'm in the second half of the special hand. program or some kind. The eyes of the universe are fixed firmly on the planet of festivities, Pentacony. Tonight. Oh. We'll be bringing you Are they dropping the teaser on Fenacony? Charmony Festival. First, let's give a round of applause and welcome the organizer of the festival and representative of the family at Pentacony, Mr. Sunday. Good evening, Sunday dear viewers. <laughs> I am Sunday. <laughs> welcome, good sir. So he a new character or something? Our humble studio. You are too kind, Mr. Owlbert. If it were not for the IPM's generous invitation, I would not have had this opportunity to introduce your audience to our festival, nor its location. That is to say, Penacony. Penacony is located in the Asdana star system. Whoa. It is a holiday destination of universal Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful, man. Known to many as the planet of festivities. <laughs> our guests will be staying in the reverie. A luxurious hotel where one may travel freely between reality and dreamscape, mm -hmm. basking in dreams that are uniquely yours. I'm curious, what makes this festival different from the previous ones? Charmony Festival is a Panacone tradition with a long history, and we have built on that foundation to achieve something truly extraordinary. The family on Panacone has, for the first time, issued public invitations to various factions of the cosmos, welcoming them to partake in our magnificent ceremony. Eh? Members of the five great families, which together make up the family on Penacony, as well as staff members of the Reverie, are united in welcoming the universe to our home. Rumor has it that your sister, the cosmic superstar Miss Robin, is set to perform at the ceremony. Miss Robin? You heard correctly. On behalf oh of the family, my gosh, Robin she looks singing gorgeous. At the of the festival in honor of the Eon of Harmony. My sister she has already looks arrived so in gorgeous. And dress rehearsals are well underway. Our guests are in for quite the show. Miss Robin's participation will undoubtedly make the ceremony all the more dazzling. And <laughs> is it Which me is or she kind of really resembles a character in Honkai Impact? Correct me if All I'm wrong. Of preparations are unfolding oh, as we speak. Misha. The Reverie's renovation All right, are I've seen this guy. Close. I've seen and this so character in the Onkastaril's Twitter. Our level of service will be I believe he's a Fosa character. We have Firefly. And service oh my gosh. The Iris family to Penacone's principal Honkastaril, please, please for the love of mankind, stop dropping I'm all these sure beautiful looking characters for heaven's sake. Right at home. <sighs> Needless to say, Safety is our primary Stop. concern, and so oh my the gosh. devoted and courageous Bloodhound family will be responsible for security at the festival. Danger does not exist in Penacone's dreams, and the family promises that the safety of every guest is guaranteed. Of course, the family is Duke also Infernal. forgiving. Perhaps you are a member of the Annihilation Gang, or even 
the Stellaron Hunter. Sam, wait! If you cherish I... dreams and uphold benevolence, he's one of the Stellaron Hunters in arrival. um Kafka's <laughs> Maria Celestia uh, trailer. Since issuing the invitations, we have received many replies from various organizations throughout the universe. Today will be the first time we are publishing the guest list. Okay. All in the Reservations, the International Peace Corporation. Uh, he's an executive from the IPC Strategic Investment Department and a member of the legendary Ten Stone Hearts. Adventuring. Adventuring. Explore, understand, Trivies, Expo, and Express. Connect. Together, the name is carried for the trailblazing will of Akabili and build bridges between the stars. Are there really more characters the right now? Of the Astral Express, Himiko. Himiko, along with the entire crew, will soon be gracing Penacone with their presence. Trading knowledge for wisdom. Audition. with formulas. Intelligence. Through an academic network of shared resources. The renowned scholar of the intelligentsia oh, guild, Dr. Ratio. Dr. Veritas Ratio. We think, therefore we Remembrance. are. Remembrance. Garden are of proofs. Recollection. She's committed to safeguarding and sharing these memories and able to journey beyond the corporeal into the cosmos. Hails from the Garden of Recollection. Oh my it's god, it's Black Swan. Keeper herself. Miss Black Oh my goodness Swan. gracious, she's so in the sexy ass. expanse of the cosmos. Elation, Elation mass folks. Wait. Forever resilient. Is the, is the, I think he's the, the other five star character. Present, yeah, yeah. Sparkle, sparkle. Masked fools. Sparkle. She's one of the, uh, yeah. Sparkle. The, path the hunt. Of the hunt. Acheron? From one planet to another, upholding justice. Acheron? Evil, and then doing it all is it Acheron? Again. She's been away from the spotlight for too long. He needs Acheron. Presenting the Galaxy Rangers, Miss Acheron takes the stage. So does, does that mean she's followed the path of the hunt? On behalf of the family, I hereby warmly welcome our guests to participate in this, our grand celebration. I mean, it Penicone makes sense. Awaits you. Kind of makes sense. Because she's an attacker type. Anyway, that's it. Oh wait, now we have a preview of Penacony. Oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful, man. That is very circus team. Penacony looks very circus team. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of info dump. That is a lot of info dump, I would say. Oh my goodness gracious. There's a lot going my going on in my head right now to be very very honest. Because that that was a lot of information. And there a lot of a lot of character review as a matter of fact. But I will say this. The characters that I will be getting right now as of uh, that will be I will be getting as of this moment is just without a shadow of a doubt. Um Guan Mei Shui Yi um, Black Swan and Akron as of this moment. Oh, uh, and as a matter of fact, like I will definitely um, there's so much info down right now. Well, I did say I was looking, I was kind of looking forward to a to a Panacony teaser, but I didn't expect them throwing a tons of information. A lot of character previews as a matter of fact, like, oh my goodness. Speaking of which, uh, this, I don't think Genshin has done a character preview of, sub, of some kind on their special program, right? They just they kind of tease um, the new location and that's pretty much it. And I will say this, Genshin, you gotta step up your game because from the way I see it, Honkai Star is is doing a way better job than you guys. Like, holy crap. Once again, Honkai Star has never ceased to amaze me. And you know what? As a, I don't, as a matter of fact, right, I, don't, I don't mind throwing a uh, throwing money on this game. Consider the fact that this game has been has been has done nothing but a mind-blowing amazement. Like holy crap. So to wrap up this um, conversation, right? I definitely will be looking forward to not just 1.6 but Panacone as well. 
I'm not sure whether I can clear the, the latest simulator guinea first though, but I'm definitely getting my hands on one way and uh, Shuegi without a shadow of a doubt. <sighs> but then again, Kafka, the Kafka rerun though, and and also there's Black Swan and Akron. Oh my gosh, so many good, so many nice looking characters. Gosh, gosh, dang it, Hong Kong style. What? The They definitely deserve best mobile game of the year. Definitely deserve. And <laughs> speaking of best mobile game, right? Honkai Star Rail has decided to reward us with a new tweet, Dr. Light. I was like, what the hell? It's not even one year and you're already giving us a new 5 star character. Like, what the hell am I looking at? Holy shit! Genshin hasn't even done that for the past three years. Like, oh my gosh, I'm loving this game even more now without Shadow or Doubt. Oh my gosh. So, to wrap up once again, to wrap up this conversation, right? I'm definitely going to be looking forward to not only 1.6 but to Panaconi as well, and I will definitely get my hands on One Me and Shui at the moment and I'll definitely be looking forward to the new characters here at Penaponi such as the likes of Black Swan and Akron. And that's pretty much my reaction to Honkai Star Rail version 1.6 special program. 